Hey, well there, want to learn all about conjunctions like even though, although, despite, in spite of? Then you came to the right place. Keep watching. Hey, welcome back. So, conjunctions are things that you have to learn as an advanced speaker of the language. For example, how are you going to describe your thoughts accurately without conjunctions? So, if we talk about even though, although, despite, in spite of, we will group those two together and group those two together because they are both used the same. So, First, what is the meaning of even though? Even though is used when you do something and there's an unexpected result after it. So, for example, let's start with even though. First of all, you have to know that even though starts at the beginning or comes in the middle. And it can also come at the end. But when it comes at the end, it becomes though, without even. So, let's take some examples. Even though I exercise every day, I am not losing weight. So, you're exercising every day and you're still not losing weight. This is unexpected. Let's take another example. He is always sad, even though you help him all the time. See? Even though in the middle of the sentence. Now, let's use even though at the end. It becomes something like this. Mm. She has a very loud voice. I like her though. So you can see, though came at the end. Um, the most common way of using it is at the end. Um, people really do say it all the time. And um, yeah, although is the same as even though. It's the exact same. You just use it at the beginning or in the middle. It never comes at the end. Never does. Um, so right now, let's talk about despite and in spite of. As you've already seen with even though, we use a normal sentence after it. So even though I play football, it's a normal sentence. I play football. Very normal. But with despite, we only use it with nouns. For example, we can say, we went out despite the rain. So here, the rain, it's a noun. So we still went out despite the rain. So we use despite when it's gonna do something that will stop us from going out. So he still beats you despite your training. This means that even though you have training, he still beats you. So it's the same meaning overall. So despite comes with nouns and even though comes with a normal sentence. In spite of, despite, they are used in the same way. And hopefully that was easy for you. Good luck. Goodbye.